Aquarius, this is for you. Um, so, I want, I want to use the good tarot deck today. And just see what we get. I have pre-shuffled. I have split the deck. And now I just want to take from the bottom and go from there. Five of fire. Seven of earth. I had that one fall out when I was pre-shuffling. Ten of air. Okay. You're getting signs. What are you in your head about? You're all in your head about something. You're you're getting the signs, but you may not be seeing it. You need to get out into nature. You need to go out into nature, and um, I feel like that you are definitely getting signs. You're just not you're not seeing it, or you're not hearing it, or you're not getting it. Um, you know, some of you may actually be seeing feathers, or moths, or butterflies. You know, you can look up the meanings of that on, um, you can Google it, actually. But this is, you know, it, this is a feeling like you're waiting. You're trying to be patient. You're waiting. You don't know what to do next. It's like, what do I do next? Well, you, you are having an awakening. You are transforming. And the thing is, is sometimes... You know, while you're waiting on signs, you're waiting on these messages, you have to just look within. Um, because sometimes that's where you're going to get your message from, is from within. The moon. Okay. See, I got confusion with the moon card. Now I see why. Options. What do, what, you know, seven of water, seven of cups. What, what do you do? Where do you turn? You know, what do you do next? There's a sense of confusion with the moon card. You're confused. And there's temptation. So, something's tempting you. I want to tell you right now, I'm seeing the um, high priestess. You're going to have to follow your intuition on this. This is like being tested. Queen of Air, Queen of Swords, that's you. You've got to be ready. You're getting messages. You've got more knowledge within you than you know. And you have to be ready to kind of whack things out of the way. Don't let things tempt you to the point of, um, you know, causing you to do things that you know you shouldn't. we got the Emperor here. Page of Water. Okay, you've got someone that's going to be coming in or is coming in who's wanting to offer you some emotion. Um, I need to get a little clarity on this because I feel like it's it's kind of got you up in the air about this person. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me about the emperor. Okay. Got a lot of emotion. Magician reversed. Knight of Pentacles. They did not give. <laughs> they didn't give and you cut them out of your life. <laughs> you cut them out. This is someone from the past or someone that you've dealt with. Someone you saw on a seed with and it didn't work. You felt like you were, you know, you just had to cling to what you had because it's almost like, um, okay, I'm seeing, the, yeah, okay. I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles. They made you feel alone and abandoned and unwanted. And they left, okay, they left you having to wonder, hey, what's up? What's going on? What's happening? So, you know, you're like, what, what, what is this? Follow your intuition. You got the Temptation card. You've released this, or if you haven't, you need to. Burn it and release it. Um, let the burdens go. Let yourself, you know, just kind of flow. And follow your heart. Follow your heart on this, you know. Um, but use your mind, too, because we get the hangman, you know, and that's, I feel like that's really looking at things from a whole, you know. Maybe t don't jump. Just, you know, kind of flow with this and see where it goes. The call. So, you may get a call from this person. 
and it's, it's almost like you feel like it's coming. It's like you know it. So that tells me that you can follow your intuition on this because you're you're intuitive. Yeah. Um, wow. That's interesting. This could be a soulmate connection, but it doesn't have to be. This could be lover related, but it doesn't have to be. Um, could have been a friend. doesn't have to be. So basically it's up in the air. But, you know, this is calling for you to follow your intuition. That's basically it. Um, being tested. You're being tested, you know. And um, that's it. Follow that deep feeling within. Let it lead you. That's what I feel. So that's what I've got for you. Um, I'm trying to think if I need to pull you anything else. You know, I think I'm going to pull you one of these angel messages right here. There we go. Two of emotion. A relationship grows closer as two people fall in love, or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There is still, there's still hope. So you need to follow your intuition on this. That's what I've got for you. Much light and love. Give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Till next time. Bye.